Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to do another page for our blue journal. Now, I've kind of got something drawn out here. I don't know if it's going to turn out like that or not. <laughs> this is just a drawing. You know, sometimes it turns out better in the drawing than it does in actual life. But this is something that Corey from Creating with Scraps, and I'll link her channel below, uh, she did something similar to this a few months ago, and... I had taken a picture, a screenshot of what she did, and I thought, that looks very interesting. But I don't know exactly how she did it, because I really couldn't find a tutorial on it. But I'm going to, I just kind of drew something out. Mine's a little bit different than hers, so we'll see what we come up with. But like I said, I'll link her channel below. It is inspired by Corey. Alrighty, let's see. Uh... This is just a piece of paper that I have cut the edges off of, the white edges. Well, I actually tore them off. You're not going to see a lot of this paper, so you really don't have to worry about the color of this. Just uh, use whatever paper that you have. You could probably, I mean, you could use book page or whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. I was just looking outside. The wind is getting up quite a bit. We're supposed to have all kinds of storms tomorrow coming off of the hurricane, so I'm not looking forward to that day. And we probably will lose internet, and hopefully we won't lose power, but we'll probably lose internet. We normally do. So I was going to get a few videos uploaded today if I possibly could, if my voice is going to hold out long enough. It's one of those trial and error things. I'm still having a little bit of voice problems, but I mean, I feel a lot better. I just still have a lot of voice issues. So, I don't know. I, we will do what we can. All right, I was just pulling out some papers that I might want to use. Now, a lot of these little pockets are going to be covered, so you don't want to use something that's really, really, really nice for the front. So what you're going to do is just pull out some that you, and you can even use scraps on this. I'm just trying to pull from my blues. Let's see if I have any blue scraps that might work. I think I just about used all my blue scraps the other day. Let's see. Melina was really laughing at me. The On my video Saturday that I put up, she said, Mom, my goodness, what was you drinking when you... <laughs> Oh, I said I wasn't drinking anything. I just should not probably have done a video. I might, she said you lost your train of thought. You could. <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes when I don't feel the 100%. But yes, I did lose my train of thought. And uh, I just had a, a rough day <laughs> Saturday. So I probably should have stayed off the video. But I thought it was kind of funny. That's why I put in like the bloopers. Some people like to hear my bloopers. So I just put in there that you could you could listen to my bloopers <laughs> she said i have laughed and laughed and replayed that and laughed she said at one point you just kind of stopped and you didn't say anything for a while and it was just kind of like you just lost where you was <laughs> and i may do this that on this one who knows <laughs> oh me but you know this is real life this is not the this is not one of those movies that you go to watch. This is real life. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do on the first pocket is I want to come up probably, let's see, and this is going to be trial and error with me. So you can do it like this or you can do it like Corey does. If she, Like I said, I couldn't find her video, but now I didn't look real hard because I really didn't have time. But I'm just going to kind of mark mine like that, put a little line, and it, I came up about two inches from the bottom. That's where my first little pocket is going to be, and they're going to be at an angle. So what we want to do, now this paper doesn't really matter which direction we go in with it. So that's why I chose this one mainly. And you can always use just plain paper and then decorate it up. You don't have to use a, a pattern paper. This would be really pretty with book pages and then 
just decorate on them that'd be pretty too okay so there's a little piece that's two inches and then I'm just going to mark on this side. And this is how I measure on things like this. I don't take a lot of time and measure with my ruler and then, you know, be real specific. I just, I measure like this. I find it much more satisfying. It may not be as exact and precise as some people might like it, but to me it's much more satisfying to do it this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler... And I'm just going to lay it across like this. You can put it back in your trimmer if you want. But I kind of want the tops of mine to have this little jagged edge. So I'm coming up probably about a little over a half an inch here. You see about how far I've got there. There's my little half inch box. So and then on this one I'm coming right to the point. And then I'm just going to tear this hopefully. Let's see if it's going to tear right. If I can get it started, oh, it's not going to start for me, is it? I may have to just mark it and cut it. Let's see if we can tear from this end. Sometimes you just have to mark and cut because some of this paper doesn't like to tear one way or the other. And that's going to be fine right there. So that's going to be our first little pocket right there. Okay, but now you don't need to glue this pocket down first because you're going to have a pocket that comes in behind it. So let's grab another. I think I might use this for the one that comes in behind it. And I'm just going to tear off some of these white edges. I could have done this before the video started but I didn't really know what exactly I wanted to do or what I wanted to use. Some people like it. I've had lots of people say, oh, you need to prepare more. You need to get everything ready. You, you're spending too much time, you know, guesstimating what I'm going to do. Well, to me, that's not fun. I mean, if it's going to be a long video and I know there's lots of prep work that I can do, then I do the prep work. But if it's something like this, I don't do a lot of prep work. I don't want to. I mean, that's just me. I used to do lots of prep work and I had all my little pieces cut and all I did, I got on that video and I just slapped it all together. And I was so dissatisfied. I was not happy at what I was doing at all. So now I like to show my prep. I like to show what I'm doing, how I come up with certain things. Some people have said that they really like that, so hopefully you do. Hopefully the majority of you do. Now I need to hush because I'm just rambling on and on. All right, on this one, I'm going to come up, uh, let's see. Let's do three and a half. Because that would make it about right there. Three and a half. So... Hmm, I need to cut this, and I'm just deciding which one I want to cut first. Come on, lady. All right, three and a half is right there. So that'll get, that'll get some pretty paper. All right, three and a half. So that one is going to go down like that. And then what I need to do is I need to come from here down to here about a half an inch up I think so let's see if we can tear this one if it'll work and I'm just sitting that in that little box and that just kind of tells me where a half inch is All right, but let's try it from this end first yeah that works better hard to tear from that little point and these are some that we could use in another page like this so don't throw those away never ever throw those away okay so that'll go like that this one will go this way and I know it's hard for you to see right now but I'm going to ink them up in just a minute and you can see them better and then we need another one that's on up here somewhere let's see let me Move back a little bit so I can measure it. 
let's just say, let's say four and a half on this one. Okay. So four and a half, that might be four and a half right there. It is. So we're just going to tear this one. And I'm going to tear about like that, I think. Like I said, this may not turn out right. If it doesn't, we'll do something else. <laughs> but if it does, <laughs> it'll be great. Okay, four and a half. That there. That there. Okay. So you've got pocket, pocket, pocket. And then I'm going to come up here with another piece. Let's see how far. And you could separate these out much more. I think Corey did separate hers out a lot more. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to come up with this. Um, I think I'm going to come six there. I'm just trying to do the best I can and use my paper. Use the, all my paper up, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. Let's try to use this one, maybe. Let's see if it's the right width. Yes. So, I think I want the top part. Just trying to do it the best way that I can to waste the least amount of paper. So we could put that one there. Okay, then my little flowers are going to show. So I don't think I'm going to tear this one down quite so far. I think I'm just going to tear it across here because I want to keep my flowers as many of them as I can anyway. So I'm going to tear it about like that maybe. We can always go back and tear more, but we can't put some of it back on. So it's better to tear a little bit and look at it and then go back. So that would be there. Let's just make sure. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And now the next one, I want to take it probably all the way to the top. Because I want the top pockets to be bigger. So let's go on the next one. We will do it at 8 inches. And we'll just use this piece. Let's see. I need to cut it down. 8 inches. And this is probably... Corey probably has a very easy way to do this. This is probably the hardest way to do this. <laughs> I usually do things the hard way. But uh, like I said, I'll link her channel and you can go over and watch. So, now that one doesn't come all the way the length of the paper, but it doesn't have to. As long as it goes in behind this is all that you need. So really, I just need it to be at least, let's see, make sure that I get all of my little spots covered. At least that length right there. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I can tell you the width and the height of all of these when I finish. If you want me to do that, like I said, you can go in and do yours any way that you want. You may not want to do it this way and that's fine. Do not have to. Okay. I just want to tear this one. Let's see, I want it to come over here. All right, I think I'm going to tear it about right here first, and we'll see what we get. See all of these that we can make another, or t tags, we can make tags like that. Yes, that's going to work. All right, I'm going to start inking these up. I'm going to ink all of them, and I'm going to ink my page. And then we will come back, and I'll start sh giving you the sizes and showing you how they're, we're going to glue them down. Okay, let's start gluing these down. Now, you need to start at the top and go down because each one of them is going to be under the other, so you need to start at the top. Okay, that one's a little bit wide, so before I glue anything down, I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Then I need to re-ink it. So I'll just trim it right there. 
my trimmer is right over out of the frame so all I'm doing is just cutting that little piece off a lot of that's not going to show but we want to make sure that it's the right width okay we're going to glue that down like that now, depending on if you want your tags to go all the way down or if you want your tag to stop right here will be how you glue this. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to leave my, the bottom open on mine and let the tag go all the way down. I think. I think that's how I'm going to work it. If that doesn't work out, I can always just stick my little glue in there and glue it. Or I could stitch across the bottom. Well, no, I can't after I put it together. But Okay, so that's your first one. So say well, you've got your pocket, and it'll go all the way down through there. Now, this one is, and I'll t I told you I would tell you the size of all of them. Now, this paper, let me tell you the bottom. This is a five and a quarter by eight, about eight and a quarter. So this one is five and a quarter, and then I cut it at five inches. So five and a quarter by five. And then over here on this side, I cut it down to an inch and three quarters. So that's how I angled it, okay? Now this one is five and a quarter, of course, and then I cut it at six, and then the short side is at three six and three now we could bring this one up this way you can put it down here as long as you have this little part covered so I think I'm gonna bring it up some like that yeah I like that I'm gonna put a little bit more ink right here because I want the, these pockets to stand out so we're gonna glue down through here and then down this side. I'm not going to glue the bottom again. And let's see. Is that where I thought? Yep. That's it right there. So there's our second one. Then we want to put this one on there. And this one I'm going to take. Let's see. How are we going to take this one? Lots of different ways that you can do this. So I'm thinking that one I might take up to there. I'm trying to see. That one there and then this one here. Yeah. Okay. I'm bringing this one up a little bit. I'm going to bring it even with the bottom of this. And this one is, of course, five and a quarter. And then I cut the whole piece at, well, come on, ruler. Uh, four and three eighths and then this side over here is three quarter so that's how I tore it down bring that one up a little bit and this one is a little bit wide so I'm gonna go ahead and clip it off while I'm here so I don't forget and then we can re-ink it okay then this one goes next <laughs> and I actually think I had that one in there next, but that's fine. You see, they all change when you start putting them together. And I'm going to bring this all the way down to the bottom because this one's going to fill in that gap. This one is, I cut the paper at three and a half, and then this little piece over here is half inch. So you can either lay them out and mark them how you want them put down, or you can do like me and just guess at it and change it up as you start. <laughs> either way it works. Cute. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And then see, this one will go here, and it'll cover up that little space right there. Now this one was only two inches and then we have a half inch over here okay this one is a little bit wide so I'm gonna have to cut it off and then put a little bit of glue under there all right now this one you're gonna need to glue at the bottom and I didn't so I'm gonna go back in and glue it and the one right before 
you need to glue it at the bottom too so that your tags don't fall straight through which mine would if I didn't glue that other piece so I'm just gonna lift that up and glue at the bottom now let's see if that if we've got it all glued like it needs to be yes it looks like it's all glued so let's try a this is not a tag but let's see if it'll go yes it goes whoops okay that's how you can tell if you've got it glued right or not <laughs> so I need to glue another little piece here that's me you should put that glue on before you lay it down but I didn't I just got I got happy with putting it together but that's okay we can go back and glue it not a problem now let's see if that doesn't go all the way through we know we got the parts glued that we need to and it doesn't it goes to right there that's good okay so that is our page Isn't that cute I like that I like how it looks I like all the different pockets that you have you've got a pocket here you've got pockets here you've got little pockets here and then little tuck pockets here cute neat I like that and then you can make little tags and things to go on this then you can make little tags or big tags to go in this okay now what I want to do is I want to make some tags that look like that to go in our journal so oh, let's see what we might use to for a background now I've got these that would probably work well for a background and I'm not necessarily going to put these tags in here because I think that'd be a little overkill but I just wanted to make sure that they weren't too tall for my journal and they're not I am going to cut this little part here off the little divot and then I think I'm going to use these for the back backing of my tag just to give it that stability that it's going to need so let's see let me grab a few more of those and one of you guys sent me these look at that in that neat <laughs> that one's already filled out okay let's cover this with something and then we'll kind of go from there I'll lay those over there now I'm going to cover it probably with just a plain paper oh uh, hmm, what will I cover that with because a lot of that is not going to show as you've seen in that one let's just cover it with this we can always um, you know we can always decorate the fronts of it so let's just cover it in this and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue you can use your glue stick if you want this is a pretty heavy paper oh I got sirens going outside I don't like that sound when all my kids and everybody is out and about I don't like the sound for anybody I'm not trying to sound heartless um, because I know it means problems but everybody is out and about right now so that makes me even more nervous okay and you can see that's a pretty heavy thick paper so none of the glue shows through okay so now all we're going to do is trim this off right around that so I really feel for all you guys I know we have some people some customers and some viewers in Louisiana I am so sorry for all that you're having to go through and I know a lot of you are out of power and your homes are flooded and all of that and I I'm so so sorry that's terrible these storms can wreak havoc I'm telling you and you know we're a good ways away we're probably four hour four and a half hours away from the coast and we don't really get that type but we what we get is the tornadoes we get the spin-off tornadoes on everything so that makes it that makes it rough but not as rough as what you guys have it okay look what we're gonna do we're gonna use these scrap pieces on here so I'm gonna grab all my little scraps out right here 
that we have done and I want that one to really show now these I'm going to glue across the bottom because I don't want anything big going in these because it's already a tag so we don't want to have a tag on a tag on a tag <laughs> we don't want to have a tag and a tag and a tag so I think I'll bring that one down like that I'm just going to lay them out like this this is the only way that I know to do it and let's see I've got another one right here it's a pretty big one let's save this one for the bottom well that's the wrong side yep that's the wrong way so we'll have to do this like this maybe these these will be trial and error and we can see what we can do with it okay that one's going to have to go like that but that's not going to work exactly okay let's just start with this one and i'm not probably not going to put as many layers on this one but i think we'll just start with that one and put it down and then we'll just kind of go from there well we won't put it down but you know what i mean we'll lay it down because these may not be the exact pieces that I need. So, uh, we may have to cut something. And that's okay if we do. I'll save those little pieces because if nothing else, I can tuck those in somewhere if I've got a little piece of background showing. But the good thing is, this background showing is not going to be a problem. So, let's do this, maybe. No. Nope. Not like that. Like that. Would that one work there? I think so. Then maybe this one. Yes. And then maybe this one for the last one. Yes, that will work. I don't think we'll even need that little one there. Yes cool i'm liking that already okay i'm gonna mark these to cut off and then i'm just gonna give them a trim okay i'm gonna save those little tiny pieces because we'll we'll use them in something and then i'm gonna ink all of these and then we'll glue these down and make a make a tag let's see what it looks like okay now which one was i gonna do at the top okay Let's do this one at the top. <laughs> I don't even know if I put these back on. See, I didn't number them or anything. You can do that. But you know me. I live dangerously. So we want to... I'm just going to start about right there. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the top. There we go. Got that one. And then I think this one next. And I just need to see how far up I can bring that one and still be able to cover my little opening here I think I got an idea of how to cover it but we'll see now these were just scraps that was left off of us doing that page so we didn't didn't waste anything and didn't have to cut anything else so I'm gonna bring that one about right there now I am gluing the bottom down I know I said that once but we'll say it again oh sorry I had to cut out a piece of a, <laughs> I had to sneeze okay I think when it rains tomorrow if it's not storming I'm just gonna go out and hold my head up and let the water run in my nose and see if it can clear up some of this mess that's what I feel like doing anyway I won't do that but that's what I feel like doing uh, let's see let's put that one right about there maybe now, looks like I may have cut that one just a tiny bit short, and I think that's okay because this is going to cover it up. Yes, that will cover it fine right there. So we'll put that one at the bottom. Let it come up like that. Cute. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. Oh my goodness, I like that. That is cute. Now, up here do I want to I think all I'm going to do at the top is round those corners and since this is a pretty thick 
Oh, I just had something fall. Since this is pretty thick, I'm going to use this, the corner chomper. This one would probably do it, but I don't want to take a chance and ruin it because I love that. So the corner chomper will go through even chipboard to chomp the corners. So you can use it that way. And we have those in stock. I think we have quite a few of them in stock, as a matter of fact. And I've had mine for probably, they're even a different color now. I've probably had mine for eight or ten years. I love it. And they work great. And they last forever. My husband said mine would last a lot longer if I would keep it clean. I don't, I don't clean it out very often. That's a bad on me. All right. Now, I, I feel like I want something right here. And I'm not, I don't really know if I want just maybe some trim up there for the little pull. That would be pretty. I could stitch around all of this with, right now I have brown thread in my sewing machine and I'm not sure I want to stitch around it with brown. Um, let me think, I'm thinking a minute. All right, I think I am going to put that up there, and then I'm going to change my thread to maybe a cream color, because I don't really want the brown on this. I don't want it to stand out quite so much. Let's see. Oh, I need to put the backing on before I do that. So we'll just put this on the front side. Then we need to back it in something. Okay. Okay. So, what are we going to put on the back of this? I can put some of that paper. I'm just going to use some of the... This is that drawing paper that I get off of Amazon and like a stack that thick. <laughs> and it works fantastic for the back of tags because I love writing on this. It's a matter of fact, a gel pen to write on this writes so smooth. I just dropped a bunch of them in the floor too. We're going to go ahead and back it with this. Then I will, I won't stitch these on camera. And you don't have to stitch. That's not something you have to do. So don't think, oh, I can't make that because I got to stitch. You don't. I stitch because I like it. I like the look. But it's not something that has to be done. Okay. Put it down right there. I'm going to flip it over and find a card. All right. And see, not even the art glitter glue shows through that. So that's what I like about it, too. So let me know if you guys are having power outages, if y'all are, if everybody's safe, if you're know in the midst of the storm let me know what's going on cute how cute how cute I love that okay I'm gonna put this over on the back and then like I said we'll I'll do my stitching off camera and I still feel like I need some little something right there so let me grab my labels well, I just threw that paper in the floor too I don't know why all my paper's still going in the floor I don't know about that one that one's a little bit big, I think, for the number. Let's see, that one. I think I'll put my number on there. Number eight. These are from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy. These are her little number labels. I love number labels. Because when you don't know what word you might want to use, you know, a lot of us have the words. But if you don't know what word you might want to use, you can always just put a little number on there. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, that did it right there. I like that. Now, you can make little tags for this. So you can have a tag on a tag. Or you can just take little pieces. You might just have little pieces that you want to tuck in there. Let's just look right here, see what we have. Like this little cameo, could just tuck that little cameo in. And it actually goes pretty well with the colors in here. I would want to trim that white off around it, but see that could tuck right there. 
Um, let's see if there's any more blue ones in here. I don't think I have any more blue ones. But the little little pieces like that would probably look better actually in here than some larger pieces, if you know what I mean. The larger tags, just little pieces like this. Like that one would probably go better there. That one actually is a little bit big. Uh, maybe this little piece. This is from Hello Susan on Etsy. See, that would go there just to tuck in. It doesn't have to be all blue. You can put anything on there. It can be any color. Let's see if we got any of these. Oh, a little tea card. That would be cute in there. And again, I would cut the edges and ink it. I'm just putting some stuff in there just so that you can kind of see what it would look like. Let's see. I do have... Let me look right here. I do have some little tags, I think, in here. Might want to cut out something like that to put on there. Let's see if that'll work in there. This is an old, older piece of ephemera from Blue Fern. I'm just going to see if it'll fit before I do all the trimming. So that could slide down in there. Yeah, it would fit. And then you could see the little bird. You could still see the little number. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And I am just going to trim off maybe one little run at the bottom. We'll see what that works like. Yeah, I like how that one sits in there a little bit better. And then this, we're going to take ooh, take our shears. I will try to remember to link these below. These are on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. And they work great. on paper or fabric. So see, there's our little tag cut out. I forgot to ink that other one too, didn't I? Oh yeah, I love that little bluebird showing. And then that little piece. You could always tuck another little piece in there. I'm gonna trim around this, but I'm gonna cut this part out because you guys don't need to see me trim around this. You know how to fussy cut, so. Okay, so we got that trimmed around that I'm just going to go in and cover up any white that I might have missed. And there's our little cameo that can go right there. And then we've got this little label. We'll just put it down in there. And we could put something else in here too. Let's see if we have anything right here that we might want to put in there with that. Let's cut this little piece out right here. See if it works in there. Another of Blue Ferns. See what that looks like. In there with that. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. Oops, I see a little piece I trimmed wrong there. So there we go. There's your little tag with all kinds of ephemera in there. That could be used elsewhere in the journal or just leave it in here. And it's got writing space on the back of all of those. So I think that's cute. Okay, let's make another one. See what we can come up with. This one, I may just use some of the scraps that I have laying here. So we'll see. We shall see. All right, let's grab one of these again. Oops, not that one. I didn't trim that one off. This one. Now, I think I'll actually go ahead and back this before I put the front on. That way I'll already have it done and I won't have to worry about it. Messing up the front if I put anything that's got a little bit of dimension on there. I will link this paper below. I think it's only like, I don't know, maybe $8 or $6, something like that, for 500 sheets. And it's, I mean, I'm still using on this, and I probably bought it, oh, probably six or eight months ago. Really, it might have been a year ago, because I think I bought this when this bad stuff first started. 
to do some backing and things with. Because, you know, we all try to shop online and not get out, so. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm going to try to use scraps. So I need to back this first or put something here. Really, I don't need to put a piece of paper all the way down through there. And I know you've probably said this. You're wasting your paper. I know you've said that to me a dozen times, haven't you? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece up here at the top. See which way it goes. That way. I'm going to put this piece up at the top and then we'll do all of our other down through there. Yeah, so we'll glue this straight down and then just trim it off. That way you guys won't have to be yelling at me that I'm wasting paper. Putting it down and covering it up. But you know, sometimes that's just what we do. We put it down and we cover it up. But I can print these over and over again. So that I'm not worried about. Okay. So there is the top, and I'm just going to go ahead and ink it before I get started good. Okay, now I think I will have this one down here. And I'm just going to do some tearing on these, that way I don't have to bring my trimmer back over. That's a scrap, but they're right there. So we'll just put it on the line, hopefully. Then, let's just tear off like that. There we go. So that one will go at the bottom. Okay. Now let's see what else we have. That one's not big enough. I'm going to bring a piece of this in. I'd like to get some of that on there. That's pretty. Oh, it's so humid here today. My hair grows when it gets humid. I've got the natural curly hair. And so when it starts getting real humid, my hair gets bigger. So <laughs> I can feel it growing. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I'm crazy. Oh, let's see. Now, I'm going to cut these a little bit. I'd rather have them a little bit bigger than a little bit shorter. So, okay, I literally tore that way too short. I don't know why. Just me, me talking, I guess. So, we'll go to this side. I'll just have to print that, this sheet again. I don't know. I wasn't looking to, at where I was cutting or, or tearing, I guess. I was talking. Okay, Edith, let's do it right this time. There we go. We can still use that other piece, just not on this. Yes, that one's torn right. Okay, we've got that one. This one goes at the bottom. We shall put this one. Hmm. I'd really rather this one go on up a little higher, I think because I want these flowers on there, so it's going to need to tear the opposite direction, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to tear it right, let's see, right here first, and then I'll come back and tear again to get those other flowers. So I'm going to tear it like that, oops, throw it around, tear it and throw it around, tear it like that. That goes down there, yes. And then this one I need to tear opposite. So tear that over that way. Yep, yeah. right there. I'm talking to myself. Can you hear me? Yes, I am. Okay, Let's see if that works. Yes, that works right there. Um, and on this one, I'm going to leave it at an angle and just glue it that way. I just don't want to lose all my flowers, and if I tore it straight across, I would lose quite a bit of my flowers. So if I do it like this, I won't. So we shall do it like that, maybe. 
and then this one this way Let's see that one's gonna have to go on down this one is gonna have to go under and down okay then I need a little piece right there so let's see I had one right I had a little piece right here let's see if this will work nope it's the wrong way is this one the right way nope that's the wrong way so we'll need to tear this one all right first off I'm gonna tear it across and get it evened up and that might actually do it what do you think yes that'll do it right there there we go that works and we can save that little piece all right so let's ink these up and I have no idea let's just put a one on this one two on this one three on this one and this one is four let's see if we can keep them straight this time all right now it's time to glue <laughs> Uh, help me let's see that goes that way that goes up there like that yes okay let me hold that right there and okay I need to glue it right there I got you I'm put a dot of glue right there so I know where to glue it and I'm just gonna leave this one at an angle too I'm not gonna worry about um having a deep pocket because I've got plenty of pockets just glue it at an angle this little piece we need to trim off right here okay so we've got a little pocket there this is going to be a deeper pocket here and we need to trim that off okay we're going to go across the bottom let me make sure I got it bottom yep across the bottom so you can do these either way. You can do them at an angle like this. I have angled pockets to put little tickets and ticket stubs and things like that in. Or you can just cut them straight across like we did the other one and have deeper pockets. Okay, so we got that. This one goes right there. That one goes right there. Yes, okay, we got it. See, this one's going to have a little deeper pocket because it's straight across at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to trim a little bit of that off. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. And then ink that back up. There we go. And then our last little piece right here. I really like how this looks. I like the other one, and I'll, this one I like because it's a little bit different too. All right, there is that one. Isn't that cute? Zorro. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we watched Zorro the other night. It's just because there's nothing else on for us to watch. And we just watched parts of that and we laughed so hard that that movie was something else. It was so hilarious because you know some of that stuff is not possible that he would do. But it was something to keep us occupied anyway. Okay, see, we've got kind of one that comes straight across almost at top where this one comes down. So they're a little bit different, but I like both of them. And both can hold little tags. This would be a short little tickets and tags. That one would be a little deeper. This one would be quite deep, and then that one would be shorter. So little tickets and tags would be cute in here. Let's see if there's anything in here that's that would go. I don't think so. I think most of this is like a black and white or yeah most of this is black and white or pinks and reds but you can see that you could put something in both of them I mean you could put some tickets in there all kinds of ephemera now let's go ahead and I want to round the corners on this See when it gets like that, see all that gunk in there? It really needs to be cleaned out. So if you keep them cleaned out, they work fantastic. Now we're just going to punch, I think. What are we going to punch? Or maybe I've got one. Let's see if I've got a little tab that would work at the top. That one wouldn't be so bad. 
We'll put this one up. And I will probably stitch on this one too. Just around the edges, just to give it a little bit more dimension and put to put another um, interest, layer of interest in your journal. It's basically what the stitching's for. It's just another texture. Yes, I like that. Okay. So there is that one. And there is our page. Isn't that neat? See, I love that. That's probably all I'm going to do on this video. I will go and make the tags and everything for this and put them in there. I don't know if I'll make them on video or if I'll just make them and have them ready to go in when we put all of this in our journal. But I think that's all that I'm going to do on that one. Now, I do need to do something to the inside of this because that's just white. But we'll decide on that later when we start to put it in our journal. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I, I read every, every single one. Sometimes I don't get to respond to everyone for a while, but I do read them all, and I enjoy hearing from you guys. Let me know what's going on in your town, and if all of you are safe, I really want to know. We'll be praying for you, all of you in Louisiana and down south. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.